In this video, you see me conducting a pouch check on a, a wallaby on the side of the road. You see that there is a pinky inside the pouch, which is sadly non-viable. It was still attached to the teat, and you will also see how to safely remove a joey from the teat. Also, you will see that I realised that there was a second joey that was missing somewhere. You will see that by there being a second teat that was enlarged and producing milk. So I am aware that there is wind in this location, so there may be wind throughout this filming, and I apologise for that in advance. If you don't want to see this video, please stop now, because the next part of this video contains the footage from the location. So, I just was alerted to this female wallaby who's been hit by a car and left on the side of the road again. Now, I'm looking in her pouch and there's a little joey. So this video is going to be more on how to check the pouch. So here we are. This little girl's been hit on the side of the road and left here. Someone called because there's a little pinky in her pouch. Now sadly that's non-viable and the pinky's not attached to the teat. Yes it is. And there's a larger teat too so there's potentially two joeys here. Um, so I'm going to go get my scissors from the car that I've left behind and show you how to safely remove this pinky from the pouch or any um, joey that's still attached to the teat. Now I can show you that the mum is definitely gone by gently touching her eye there's no movement. Even if she was unconscious her eye would blink. So safely, and sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, but to safely remove this guy or girl, whatever he, it is, from the teat. Mum's dead, so it's okay to cut the pouch. Okay, so I'm not sure how this is going to work, but mum's dead, as I showed you. She's still warm, so she hasn't been hit that long ago. And I'm just going to gently cut the teat, making sure I cut the pouch, I should say, making sure I don't cut the baby. And that's not going to hurt. There's no blood. It's okay. Now, if I try and gently move mum, because she deserves all the respect she can and dignity, I'm going to get in here and you can see the baby, hopefully you can see, is still attached to this teat here. Now, you don't want to pull the baby off the teat. So I've just snipped the teat, as you can see, and it's not going to swallow it. Now this little girl needs to be euthanized, so I'll go do that now and then I'll show you how to check if there's a second baby. So I've just euthanized um, the joey, and I'll put it back in the pouch in a minute. But there's an enlarged teat in here, which you can see just there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to squeeze the memory gland behind it, which you might not be able to see me doing. And there's milk. So there's an at foot joey around here somewhere. So I'm going to spray mum, put the pinky back in the pouch, and have a look for an at foot joey. Um, hopefully, we can find it. So I'm just going to spray mum now. 
with some across um, to show other rescuers that she's been checked. But I'm also going to notify other rescuers in the local area that there's the potential of a Natfoot Joey if I can't find it. Okay, so we'll now have a quick look around to see if we can find an Atfoot Joey, but in this bush area, it's going to be potentially difficult 